The generator is a model that generates new data, such as images, audio, or text. It uses a random noise vector as input and maps it to a new data point. The goal of the generator is to create data that is so realistic that it is indistinguishable from real data. The discriminator is a model that distinguishes between real data and fake data generated by the generator. It takes as input a data point and outputs a probability that the data point is real. The goal of the discriminator is to get better at distinguishing between real and fake data over time, so that the generator must also get better at generating realistic data. The generator and discriminator are like two competitors, working together to improve the generated data. As the generator gets better at generating realistic data, the discriminator must also get better at recognizing it. And as the discriminator gets better at recognizing fake data, the generator must get better at generating it. It's a continuous cycle of improvement, where both models are constantly pushing each other to become better. The generator and discriminator are both neural networks, trained using a loss function that measures the performance of each model. During the training process, the generator and discriminator take turns making predictions and adjusting their parameters based on their results. The generator starts by generating a new data point from a random noise vector. The discriminator then evaluates the generated data and provides feedback to the generator in the form of a loss value. The generator uses this feedback to adjust its parameters and improve its ability to generate realistic data. The discriminator, on the other hand, is trained to differentiate between real data and fake data generated by the generator. During each training iteration, the discriminator is shown both real data and fake data, and it must predict which is which. If the discriminator correctly identifies the fake data, it provides feedback to the generator to improve its ability to generate realistic data. If the discriminator fails to identify the fake data, it adjusts its parameters to become better at differentiating between real and fake data. GANs have been used for a wide range of tasks, including image synthesis, image translation, super resolution, and style transfer. They have also been used in medical imaging, where they can be used to generate synthetic images that are used to train other machine learning models. In addition, GANs have been used to generate new music, create 3D models, and even generate realistic-looking text.